how much do homes cost in Chicago Ridge, Illinois? So, hey, we're in my MLS view right now. I've I queued up all the homes that sold in the last six months. Obviously, I have a filter issue right here that says there's 37,000 matches. So, hold on one second. I'm going to... Okay, I corrected that. Chicago Ridge didn't connect, and it was just everything that sold in the last <laughs> six months. So, there's 25 homes that sold in the last six months in Chicago Ridge. And so stay tuned to the end. So we're going to go through these at like every $50,000 price point, maybe hundred thousand, depending on how many there are. And then at, by the end of this sheet or the end of this video, hang on with me. Cause I'm doing all the videos like this for all the different towns of Illinois. I already did Indiana. So feel free to look up how much do homes cost in any of these towns on YouTube. And you'll see my video there. Uh, so, and then, uh, cool. So let's dig into Chicago Ridge here. So it looks like are we starting off? So the only filter I have is that a minimum of a hundred thousand to make sure we're not getting anything too nasty. So it looks like in Chicago Ridge, your starting price point's a little over two hundred thousand dollars. So let's see what this guy is. The cheapest one was three bed, one bath, a thousand square feet, built in nineteen fifty four. So it's actually a little more expensive than I was thinking it was going to be as a starting price. Okay, so you can see this one, it looks like it's a functional house, but definitely dated in most every way imaginable. Okay, cool. It's like the roofs need to be replaced. All right, that's all the photos there. Yeah, that was a three bed, one bath, thousand square feet. So let's go up to about 250. 10, 801 Austin Avenue, three bed, one bath, 1350 square feet. Cool. So as we queue this up, let me allow me to 20 seconds about myself, if you don't mind. Hey, so my name's Tony Anzer, I'm a real estate agent serving Illinois and Indiana. Got you both sides of the border, all the way from like Valparaiso to Shanahan, uh, all the way up to uh, north to Palos Hills. You know, the whole region is what, what we cover. Uh, we do these videos to help our viewers and clients learn about the area, and ultimately, we'd love to help you buy or sell a home. So please reach out. That's why we do these videos. We love hearing from our YouTube audience. We've got like four buyers in the queue right now from YouTube reach outs. So that's always excites us. Whenever it happens, I always call the wife. Like, please, another YouTube lead. <laughs> so we're always excited. Okay, cool. So that's what 250 gets us. All right, let's go to 300 here. 300. Let's find something. We're going, here we go. 10426 Moody Avenue. So it looks like about a 300 price point is where you start getting to the next level house. Three bed, two bath, 1500 square feet. So this is probably gonna have a basement that that's including square footage on. Cool. So got a two and a half car garage there. It's a cool little screen house thing. Alrighty, we got a lot of outdoor photos before going inside. Okay. See this? It's like a this was a tri-level design. Okay, so I think they're counting all the square footage for this guy. There's a lot of photos here for them. Let me just kind of fast forward to some of the others. That's the bait low that's the lower level area. There's Freedom Park nearby, apparently. Cool. All right, so that's what 250. Is that 250? That was 300. Okay, so let's go 350. So 350 is here. 10312 Stephen Drive, Chicago Ridge. Three bed, one full bath, one half bath. That's how you read that. 1.1, 1 .1. 1365 square feet. So this sold for $350,000 within the last six months. Another tri-level design, but you can see that this one is significantly updated compared to the others we were looking at, which uh, explains that price difference. So you got a nice concrete driveway there, uh, three seasons room it appears. Okay. And then let's check out the most expensive house was $395,000, 10743 South Lyman, Lyman Ave, not quite sure. Four bed, three bath, 2,100 square foot, built in 1955. I'm expecting that this had some updates to it. I'm curious if there's like a loft on the, like the third-ish level. Let's see, okay, so this is definitely updated. Nice and open concept, that's for sure. Good coloring, Good color palette. Cool. A big driveway, going to a good size two car garage. Okay. They don't show the basement for some reason. Okay, and that's what 395 gets you. 
And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. What's the summary of how much homes cost in the various Illinois towns? So I do have this Illinois and Indiana. I'll just sh glance through at the end quickly, and you can freeze frame if you want to see or reach out. I'll send you the data. But so Elsip is two hundred seventy-five thousand. Beecher's two eighty-five thousand. Bolingbroke three hundred sixty thousand. Shanahan three ninety-six. Chicago Ridge two hundred eighty-five thousand. Crest Hill two fifty-five. Crete two hundred seventy thousand. Flossmoor three hundred forty-eight thousand. Frankfurt four ninety-five. Grant Park two hundred sixty thousand, and that's the rural community Grant Park, not like downtown Chicago Grant Park. Hinsdale one point four three million. You see, there's a big jump there. Homewood two hundred sixty-four thousand. Joliet, two hundred and fifty-four thousand. Lagrange, we're at five hundred and ten thousand. Lockport, three forty-three. Matson, two twenty-six. Manhattan, four twenty-eight. Manuka, three hundred fifty thousand. Mokina, four hundred sixty thousand. Moni, three hundred thousand. New Lenox, four hundred twenty thousand. Oak Forest, two ninety-six. Olympia Fields, three thirty-nine. Orland Park, four fifty. Palis Heights, 400. Palis Hills, 377. Palis Park, 535. And then we get to Piatone. Gotta wait for my screen to refresh. Here we go. Piatone, 310,000. Plainfield, 425. Romeoville, 302. Shorewood, 385. South Holland, 230. Stegger, 170,000. Tinley Park, 350,000. Western Springs, 752,000. All right, since I have the Indiana data here, I'll just show it to you. Again, I won't uh, talk through each of them, but I'll just uh, click through. And then if you're interested, you could uh, rewind and see that again, too. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please hit subscribe and please reach out if we can help you. We'd love to help you through buying a selling journey.